I'm Dr. Peter Entecott. I'm a Senior Research Fellow at MAPRC. My role here is primarily to conduct research into autism spectrum disorders, uh, which, are, which are highly prevalent neurodevelopmental disorders that are really characterised by impairments in, in social understanding. My research involves a number of different aspects, but essentially I, I'm interested in, in the way that the brain might be uh, working a little bit differently in people with autism, but also trying to actually translate that research into, into new treatments. One of the biggest difficulties that we have with autism is that on one hand we have a hugely increasing prevalence rate, so the, the latest rates suggest about 1 in 88 children are being diagnosed, one in 54 boys. But on the other hand, we actually have no validated biomedical treatments for any of the core symptoms. So the research that we're doing here, we hope, will actually lead to the establishment of a first worldwide first biomedical treatment for autism. Some of the treatments that we've been looking at for autism involve uh, brain stimulation techniques uh, such as transcranial magnetic stimulation. So we're running a trial now, for example, that looks at uh, a different form of, uh, of TMS um, whereby we stimulate a part of the brain that's involved in social understanding. Now this is a part of the brain that's reduced in, uh, in activity among people with autism spectrum disorder. Uh, and uh, what we're doing is we're providing stimulation directly to this region um, for, for a four-week period and looking at, um, at whether we see improvements in terms of uh, the brain response but also the, the social symptoms of autism. There's a huge number of research opportunities uh, in my group uh, to do with, with autism research. We do a lot of research not just into autism and, and treatments for autism but also more basic research into how the brain actually understands its social environment. So this is really critical work to establish how some of these networks actually, actually operate and then we can translate those into, into autism research and hopefully eventually to treatments. So my honours and, and doctoral students, for example, conduct research into uh, social understanding, emotional understanding, all the way through to, to clinical work in people with autism, schizophrenia, uh, and then also into, into some uh, clinical trial work among people with autism. MAPRC is a really fantastic place to do research. I think one of the major benefits of working at MAPRC is that you get to be involved in really relevant translational research that is genuinely unique. It is, it is world first uh, research. We're conducting clinical trials among populations such as autism, depression, schizophrenia that are being done nowhere else in the world, have never been done before. So it's a really fantastic opportunity to get involved with uh, extremely cutting edge science. The environment of MAPRC is extremely supportive and, uh, and it really encourages collaboration between uh, students and staff and, and people from different, different disciplines. So something as a psychologist working here that I've really enjoyed is actually the opportunity to work with psychiatrists, with nurses, with engineers, with, with basic scientists. It's a real, um, I, I guess, melting pot of, of, of different disciplines that I wouldn't uh, otherwise have had the opportunity to, to engage with. We have research students from, uh, from many, many different fields. There's also lots of opportunities for people that are interested in some of the technologies that we use, so, so engineering and, and physics and so forth, the techniques that actually help us better understanding uh, how the brain works in these clinical conditions.